things haven't gone so well for the Sables in Vinduk. A World Cup bound Namibia put a record score on the board in 2015 and followed that up with a 38 point victory in 2016. But Zimbabwe is hoping 2017 is third time lucky. It's worked out a formula to counter its perennial nemesis. We've got a plan to stop the, mo the mauling game and also rucks, yeah, scrums in our, in our 22. Because sometimes five, five yard scrums, they tend to also want to, to push over. And in terms of our, our defense, uh, it's pointless going up, hitting somebody up when the guys are bigger than us. We just need to play the chop tackle, chop, get them down and play from there, contest on the ground. A late rally earned a hard fought 28 to 16 win over Senegal in Dakar last month, proving the Sables can contest for the full 80 minutes, something they'll need to do again this weekend. Zimbabwe is expecting a very physical encounter against a well-conditioned Namibian side and so that's why their final preparations here are focusing on containing multiple phases of attack. The Sables will look to play to their strengths and get on the front foot. We are good ball players, so we just need to play that ball. We need to, the rugby that I've been coaching is uh, trees and branches. We just want to avoid the tree, uh, attack the branches and play from there because we, we've got dancers, people can dance with the ball. So we just need to, to, to play that game and make sure we, we deny them time and space. Whether Zimbabwe will dance to its own tune or come back from Vinduk singing the same old song remains to be seen. But what is certain is that it needs to maintain its current momentum to remain in Africa's Group 1A and stay in the running for a coveted World Cup place. Farag Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.